Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I know so many of you are wondering when will you finally receive a fourth stimulus check? So in today's video, I will be going over the soonest date that you could receive a fourth stimulus payment. There are a few payment dates floating around. I'll be sharing them in this video. Thank you so much everyone for being here today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be answering them in my next video. The winners of this past Friday's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway is Billy Lister and Jalon Michelle Newman. Congratulations to both of you. But remember, next Friday, I will be giving away another $75 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you'll have to do is subscribe to my channel, share and like this video, and leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. If you are still missing your $1,400 third stimulus payment, please know that the IRS is still sending out third stimulus checks to eligible Americans. The Internal Revenue Service has been sending out stimulus checks on a weekly basis. I know it's crazy how long this entire delivery process is taking, but I surely hope you receive your stimulus money very soon. The IRS has already begun sending out plus up payments to eligible Americans. So if the IRS calculated the amount of your third stimulus check using older tax information that it had on file, then it is very possible that you will be receiving a plus up payment as well. Just this month, more than 2.5 million people who already received their third stimulus check also got a plus up payment. The IRS will continue to send out plus up payments based on your most recent information. If your 2020 tax return shows you qualify for a larger payment, the IRS said it will recalculate your amount and automatically send you a plus up payment for the difference it owes you. Although the IRS said it is automatically making these catch up payments, I suggest checking to see for yourself how much money you should receive from this stimulus round. I definitely do not want you leaving money on the table if you're owed a plus up payment. Plus up third stimulus payments will continue to be sent out on a weekly basis. If your past stimulus payments arrive by direct deposit, that is how you should expect to receive your plus up money too. If the IRS does not have your details on file, you may be receiving a paper check instead. If part of your stimulus check does not arrive within a few weeks, you'll need to claim missing money via a 2021 tax return in April 2022. That is one year from now. So now everyone, we are all wondering when our lawmakers will finally pass a fourth stimulus check. Well, right now, the Biden administration is focusing on passing a new infrastructure plan. Earlier this week, the Washington Post reported on some initial details on the American Families Plan, the third of Biden administration's massive spending bills, which is expected to be unveiled next week. The proposal is expected to include $225 billion for child care funding, $225 billion for paid family and medical leave, $200 billion for universal pre-kindergarten, hundreds of billions in education funding, including his free community college campaign promise and an extension of expanded child tax credit, child allowance through 2025. It is possible that a fourth round of stimulus checks will be included in the American Families Plan. If a new stimulus payment is announced, it is likely that Americans receiving SSI, SSDI, RRB, VA, and survivor's benefits will receive a check. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has expressed hope that Congress would pass President Joe Biden's $2 trillion infrastructure proposal before the August recess. During a, week, during a recent weekly press conference, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee Chair Peter DeFazio believes his committee could take up the bill sometime in May. Nancy Pelosi stated, I would hope that our part in that house would largely be done before the 4th of July. Whether the whole package can be done, we just don't know. But as some had suggested, we want it complete before the August break. While she said that she wanted the package to pass on bipartisan basis, Pelosi acknowledged that Congress may have to use a budget reconciliation to approve the legislation, which allows bills to pass in the Senate with a simple majority. Most legislation requires 60 votes to advance in the Senate, and Democrats hold a narrow 50-seat majority. This means that they would need support from 10 Republicans in order to bring bills to the Senate floor for a vote, which is an unlikely scenario. If we have to go to reconciliation, that's a lever, but I hope it's not something that we need to do. 
Pelosi said. If our lawmakers do decide to use a budget reconciliation process, then it is more likely that they will pass another round of stimulus payments. Overall, it is possible that Americans could begin to see a fourth stimulus check in their bank accounts and mailboxes sometime in August. More than one job to be able to perform those basic functions, which is to take care of your family. A good job where you're safe on the job and you receive pay and benefits that are aligned with the value of the work you do. A good job where when you go to work, everyone respects the dignity of that work. A good job. And so to invest in the workforce so that we can have and say that we will support good jobs, it also means, I think, having a really honest, frank conversation about how we've been talking about how we develop the skills and what's necessary to get a good job. And by that, I mean this. You know, I think that we have in some ways created this hierarchy about what we decide is, is a valuable education, where we have said, well, higher education, that's a very valuable education. And I'd like to challenge that point. I think that instead of talking about higher education, especially where we are now as a country, where we are because of technology, where we are because of the future of work, we should talk about it in the context of education after high school. Here's why. Almost any job that we need to be filled will require some education after high school. That's just a reality. And so let's then agree to that and say we're going to create then a variety of options for an individual to get education after high school. And that option will be maybe it's a technical college, maybe it's an apprenticeship program, maybe it's a four-year college. But agreeing that we have to invest, if we are to invest in our future and the future of our workforce, in education after high school. And that's part of what is happening here. And also understanding that education after high school should recognize that for a lot of folks, some of the best good jobs don't necessarily require that you're gonna walk across the stage with a diploma, but it does require that you'll have the skills to get that certificate to do that important work. And so that's why I'm here today. I'm here to, to hold up and to highlight the kind of work that's happening right here at IBW around what we need to do um, to, to, to invest in America's workforce, in the American Jobs Program. That is the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And please make sure to enter the $75 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, sharing and liking this video, and leaving a comment below. Thank you everyone and have a very, very blessed day.